This recipe is for all those people that are not really into those fake meats. This is an entree that is super easy to make and is 100% whole foods. What is better than that for this Christmas? Completely whole grains, no flour added to binding, is pure flavor and is gluten free. Okay guys, so first thing we're going to do is cook our brown rice and our millet that we soak overnight. I already rinsed it and this is clean water. I put a piece of kombu there to have that umami flavor. So what we're going to do now is cook it in low medium flame for about 30 minutes for the brown rice. The ratio of water is two cups of water by one of rice. In this case, we're using one cup of rice uh, previously soaked. That's why we just need two cups of water. And for the millet, we're using four cups of water per one of millet. Same, uh, medium low flame, and we're gonna cook it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so now our brown rice is ready. So we're going to strain it. We're gonna rinse the brown rice on the running cold water. And then we're going to just leave it on the strainer so we can extract all the water. All the water comes down because we don't want like a watery mix. We're doing the same with the millet. Look how thick and how the millet already explodes. It absorbs a lot of water. So with this guy, we're gonna really need to squeeze all the water. Like drain all the water first, rinse it the same as brown rice, and then squeeze, like press it down. Press down, because we want all the water out. Since this is for our loaf, and we want the dough of our loaf to be compact, if it's too watery, it's going to fall apart. So this is how it should look like. Like if you can see, if I press, I don't really get like marks of water. And when I'm pressing here, I don't see any water coming out in this part on the top, look. So that's just the grain. So for this grain loaf, guys, what we're doing is we're going to add olive oil. I'm going to do garlic. This garlic, I just put it in the microplane and that's it. I'm going to do onion. So first, all the wet ingredients so they can combine better with the, um, the grains. Mustard, this is the John mustard. Next, we're adding the raisins. Almonds, toasted. Toasted oats and salt. We're going to add half of the millet and half of the brown rice to start, since our food processor is not that big. So let's start with this, we're going to blend. So this is the consistency that we have now. You see how it's coming together. That's why we squeeze all the water out, out of the grains because we want this kind of paste. So now we're going to transfer this into a new bowl and then add the rest of the rice and then we combine everything together. That's the second time that I add the brown rice and the millet. And now we're going to mix everything together. So all the flavors are now in the first batch. If you have gloves, you can use your gloves or use your bare hands and then just mix all of this together. So this is already mixed already. You need to make sure that the, that the mix is very well seasoned. I always taste everything. Hmm. Good. Now we're going to place all our mix into a plastic wrap. I put two layers, one from here to here and then one on top from here to here. Then now we're putting right in the middle. And then we're kind of making our little, our loaf. Kind of. It doesn't have to be perfect, so you just want kind of the shape there. Perfect. Now let's bring this plastic wrap over. So what we're going to do is do this. Like if it were sushi and then with your hands, you're going to start pressing down. So it, it starts coming together. 
then we bring that plastic back that plastic wrap again back and then we do the same this one rolled by itself do you saw that my god what a technique eh and then now we do the other side until it looks like a roll at this point now i'm going to start rolling it now when it's it's kind of tight both sides then what i'm going to do is remove all the air all the air bubbles then roll air bubbles roll again air bubbles roll air bubbles roll all the way to the end okay now we're going to press the edges here so we're going to remove all the air from here by doing this from here until here and then we're going to start turning this all the edge we're going to do the same thing in the other side so bring it in then twist so we don't want any air and then we're going to start twisting and now you're going to hold it like this and what you're going to do is going to go one two three four five you're just pulling it towards you and if you realize this part is twisting it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter that's what we want okay this looks pretty tight this point i'm going to put this one on the bottom just so i have time to tie this one and then just do a knot here Try to make it as close as the loaf as you can so it doesn't move. Okay, perfect. And then now this side, you just wanna tie it a little bit more. When you have one done, this is easy and this is faster because you can stretch it and now tight. Then we're gonna put it on the fridge for like 30 minutes. 30 minutes, you can do this overnight and leave it in the fridge and then next day you just sear it and um, that's it it works perfectly so now we're cutting this in half so we are able to sear it because i don't have a huge pan and then we're going to remove the plastic just carefully you can cut this side so maybe it's easy to just roll it So we add olive oil to the pan, rosemary, uh, crushed garlic, just infuse this oil. And then we're going to put our loaf right in the middle. So it's here, it's beautifully in one side. In this step, try to be patient because you want to leave the loaf to get caramelized in all the sides so it's gonna take about i don't know five to ten minutes i would say the rosemary is releasing all its oils and it smells fantastic also you can do this treat the rosemary as brush and then just brush the loaf with the oil all the flavors infused here now we're going to just flip a little bit and here you can see this beautiful color now it's seared in both sides all the sides now this is optional so just to take all the flavor that is in the pan and put it into the loaf a tablespoon of butter vegan butter I'm gonna bring this here and now you tilt your pan a little bit and then pour that butter on top of the loaf oh yes if you wanted a flavorful loaf this is it guys this is it that's it, we're ready to serve. This grain loaf is going to be a staple for all your next Christmas dinners because it's not only very simple to make, it goes really well, not only with gravy, but with any other sauce because the flavors are neutral and they go really along with everything. 
roasted vegetables, a little bit of cabbage, salad, and the best thing is then you can even sear it individually. You can sear the whole thing, but also sear like medallions in a pan. Oh my God, and get that crispiness on the top and on the bottom of the medallion that is crispy. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna put the recipe link for our gravy if you wanna check it out. Share this recipe with all your gluten-free vegan friends. I'm sure you're gonna make the Christmas way better. They're being gonna be super happy. Even better, you can do it together over Zoom. Well, I know some of us were not gonna be with our families because they are far away or because we cannot travel, but the technology is here, baby, and it's here to stay. And we can do maybe a Zoom call, you can do it with your friends, and then you both cooking together. And even now you can be the teacher because now you just learned how to do it. And let me know in the comments how it came out. Share it with us. Tag us at eattogether.co. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just click the button and also the notification bell so you can get more of our recipes every single week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a beautiful Christmas.